Welcome back to Kicking in the Neighborhood and this week's Drill of the Week. Uh, we're going to stick with individual workout theme for, uh, for this month since we're in that time of the year in the off season when you might not have your full team together, but you've got kids coming in wanting to get extra shots up. This is another one of our green light shooting drills, a drill that we keep boards and records on, uh, time and score for, uh, and compare our kids here now to our kids that we've all coached in the past so they have an idea of how they stack up. It creates a little bit of uh, motivation, inspiration, and challenge uh, that we're always looking for when kids come to the gym. So keeping with our theme, again, we're always looking for game shots from game spots and sometimes at game speed. We want all drills to have at least one of these elements. Some will have three. This is a drill that doesn't really necessarily have the game speed element. It's certainly our game shots, and it's definitely from the spots that we get in our dribble drive and our zone attack. So spots where our three-point shooters routinely get game type shots. Game speed, they're, they're, they are up against a little bit of time here because we're putting three and a half minutes on the clock. And there is a little bit element of game speed, but not as much as some of the drills we do. The benefit of this drill is, and the benefit sometimes of not doing them at game speed, is you get a shooter that get, builds some confidence because they see it go in a little bit more. I think there's a lot of value in that. I think it's sometimes underestimated by coaches. Uh, there is some value with being in one shot, one spot and just seeing this thing go in shot after shot after shot. But we're simply going to be shooting consecutive shots from the seven spots that we get our shots in. So our three-point shots all come from corner, the wing, here in the slot or the seam, the opposite seam and the top of the key, and then the opposites on both sides, okay? Those are the seven most common shots that our offense produces. If your offense produces shots more in some of these areas in between, just move your spots around. So again, it's a pretty simple theory. There's nothing, there's no special secret sauce to what we're doing here. It's the how you're doing it. This is catch and shoot, what we call one, two step shots for 30 seconds. And what we're charting here is total makes. So you see Chelsea with one, we got the time going in the corner two. Two for three, she's now two four. We yelled three five as we're counting. Three six, three seven, three eight, four nine, five ten, six eleven, seven twelve. Was that seven twelve at the first spot? Okay. So what we're charting is how many she gets at each spot. She gets a little bit hotter here on the wing. And again, you get the value of repetition. You also get the chance to make a correction. Sometimes in some of your drills, if you miss it and you feel like it's off right off, you don't get a chance to make that correction. So here you're seeing Chelsea very rarely in a row, very rarely missing two in a row because the value of being able to make a shot correction. One, one, two, 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 three, Oh, she went in. Three, three, four, four, five, 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 six, six, seven, six, eight, seven, nine, eight, ten, eight, eleven. Okay, so she got eleven shots there. So the other thing you'll start to see as you're charting this is how many shots kids are getting in thirty seconds. You can kind of time how, how quick their release is. You'll see if their stamina is good. As they get to spot seven, is spot one and spot seven drastically different? You can start to see maybe a kid needs a little bit more cardio before they do a drill like this. This is also a drill where we're charting strings. We'll have another separate board. Let's say some kid gets hot and makes 15 or 16 in a row. This is a drill where that could happen. We could put her onto the strings board as well. So if you've got a manager or you've got a coach setting their counting, you can derive a whole bunch of data from a really simple drill. Even though she's not moving, there's no fancy cones out there. We don't have any uh, you know, timing devices that are, are really difficult to simulate. This is stand in a spot, make shots, but finding value in doing that. So as she goes through the whole three and a half minutes, <clears throat> If she's averaging 12 spots, if she's averaging about 12 shots at seven spots, she's gonna get anywhere, that's, that's around 84 shots. That is 84 shots, that's good math, okay? 
you can start to see the make number is going to go up as their shot attempt numbers go up. In this drill this day, Chelsea got 55 out of 84. And she was upset and she immediately wanted to do it again because that does not fall in our green light standard. That falls in a yellow light. And she doesn't want to be yellow light. She wants to be a green light shooter. So as soon as this drill was over that day, Chelsea was like, can we do it again? And of course, any good coach is going to say, absolutely, we can do it again. So you go, and that's what creates each individual player competing against themselves. And then there's this board over there that's got Chelsea's name and then Raven's name and every other player's name on there. And they look up and they see this number achieved with a coach, same number of balls, same number of rebounders, same amount of time. And now you start to have acknowledgement of the players who become green light. And if they're green light, like we said last week, if you watched our 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 video, green light means they can shoot at any time they want to in practice, and if it's during the season in a game as well. Yellow light means the time and score, and coach has got some uh, ability to be able to talk to you about your shot selection. Red light, you better make it. That's our rule. If you're a red light shooter and you take it, it better be going in quite a bit, or that's a shot that's gonna be harmful to our team and detrimental to our efforts. So seven spot shooting, very, very basic in setup and execution, but lots of great data uh, and a lot of competition between your players.